Now let's see what are the uses of spherical lenses. Now we have seen the image formation of an object by a convex lens and we know that when we keep the object at various positions, the image obtained is of various sizes and different nature. Various sizes, that means it may be enlarged, same size or diminished. And in the nature, it may be real, that is, will be obtainable on the screen or it may be virtual, that is, it may not be obtained on the screen. So, accordingly, the lens is put in different uses. Now, convex lenses used as a magnifying glass, used to make a microscope. It is used in spectacles to correct the vision. It cures defects called hypermetropia, far-sightedness, where the patients can't see objects closer to them. Now, we can use a convex lens to focus the sunlight. Now, the sunlight focused by a converging magnifying glass can burn paper. Light rays from the sun are nearly parallel and cross at the focal point of the lens. That means after passing through the lens, they go and converge at the focus. So, when a piece of paper is kept at the focus or something else is kept at the focus of the lens, due to the intensity of the heat, it gets burned up. The more powerful the lens, the closer to the lens the rays will cross. Now, here you can see how a lens is used for burning a paper. So, here you can see that there is sun and here what is going to happen is that this is a lens, rays, parallel rays from the sun will come, pass through the lens, they will converge at a point and whatever is kept, when a paper is over here, it will get burned. A small light source like a light bulb filament placed at the focal point of a convex lens results in parallel rays of light emerging from the other side. That means if we keep some source of light at the focus, the light after passing through the lens will become parallel. This technique is used in lighthouses and sometimes in traffic lights to produce a directional beam of light from a source that emits light in all directions. So here, you can see a bulb which is placed at the focus of the convex lens. So, the light from the bulb falls on the lens and is rendered as a parallel beam. Now, here it is used as a magnifying glass. You can see that this is a convex lens. There is a small object that is a small ant. This is kept over here and it you can see a enlarged view of this ant. Obviously, I hope you remember this is possible when the ant is kept between what optical center and focus of the convex lens. So, it is used as a magnifying glass. Convex lens is also used in a camera. The rays of light from the person are converged by the convex lens forming an image on the film. Now here you can see an uh, object which is in front of a convex lens and you obtain a inverted, a real inverted image over here. Now this kind of image you when you take your photograph remember that when you stand beyond 2f you get a real and inverted image of the object. Now the image formed by a concave lens is always diminished and virtual 
and let's see how this uh, nature and the size of the image of concave lens may be used. Concave lens is used as a spy hole in doors where we can see visitors from a small opening. Then it is used in spectacles to correct the vision. It cures defects called myopia, nearsightedness, where patients can't see objects far away. They are used in camera to focus on a single object. Hence, we get a clearer picture. Actually, convex lens give a slightly blurred in, uh, image. It is used in flashlights. Concave lenses are used in flashlights to widen the beam produced by the bulb. So, these are the uses to which lenses are put in due to the different kind of images form that different sizes and the nature of the image is different for various positions that is why we are using it in different manner.